So an antigen test is a 15 minute test and it tells you whether you're infectious for COVID, whether you're shedding the COVID virus. Um, they require a nasal sample. So you would have to have a swab, um, either interior or nasal pharyngeus so all the way back. And once the swab is complete, uh, we use something called a buffer solution to process the sample into, this is the Abbott container, uh, and then this is the Odisha container. So the sample will go in there um, with the swab, and then we process it and we shake it, and then we put three drops into the cassette. And then almost straight away, we'll see a line come up, which is the control line. And that tells us that the test is valid. After 15 minutes, we'll get a second line. So the second line means that the person is positive. If no second line appears on the test, on the test line, after 15 minutes, then the test is negative. So the important thing uh, about the antigen test, it doesn't matter which one, which one we use, is, is to capture the results of the test so that you can then use that to certify your status. So the key purpose of the antigen test is screening. So it's just screening to show that you are you have a negative result. A lot of interest and a lot of people asking, and so we we're just trying to figure out what works best. But obviously, um, in a time where everything's changing so quickly, it's really difficult. All in all, the process is actually pretty simple. You get tested, and then we we get to give your results. So. I think for sure right now the demand is like for travel, um, especially for people who need to do it for business. And I think hopefully it will also help in understanding how this virus spreads too, because I think we're still unsure exactly. Like there are asymptomatic spreaders, so how can we actually contain things in that way? Obesity Restaurants has been in existence since 2016, so we've done four years. Um, we're a biotechnology company. We develop um, innovations around um, COVID diagnostic testing and we, we develop software to actually capture the results and, and, and create analytics around the results from these medical tests. Uh, so my background is in health informatics. Um, prior to creating the company, I was a professor of health informatics um, at um, Redondo University in the USA. And I've been doing that for about 10, 15 years. And before that, I was a consultant, a yeah, digital health consultant. And um, that's my background. Yeah. So at the moment, being a Canadian uh, and being cross-border, there are some additional challenges that we face that a lot of people don't face. So the regulations um, that uh, are currently in place uh, are, are typically built for people that, um, that are flying in and out the country. So being in a border situation, going across the border and coming back, there are certain regulations that just don't make sense to, to, a, to a cross border community. So um, we're currently working on um, some COVID diagnostic solutions to help us reopen and um, get the economy back again, get going again. And uh, one of the key things that we are working on now is travel. So travel and events. So how do, you, how do we start traveling again? And how do we start having events? Um, so the travel situation is very complicated. Uh, depending on what country you're going to, you would, you would require different tests. And almost every country in the world requires some kind, some kind of COVID test for you to enter. And the test results must be valid for typically between 72 hours to 48 hours. Um, some countries allow a bit longer, but you must have a negative COVID test before you can arrive in the country. So what we're working on here in Windsor today is we're developing a, a, a solution that um, involves three partners, uh, MedLabs Windsor, so they do our molecular testing, uh, Sunshine Pharmacy, so they have locations all over Windsor. So we, have, we currently have eight locations similar to this which are dedicated to what we call assurance COVID testing or travel COVID testing. And then the other part is of course Odisha Bioscience and what we do is we coordinate the testing um, and then once the tests are completed, we develop a digital certificate which we can either push to a, a digital wallet um, or we can push to an airline or we give you a piece of paper that has the results of your test, the quality of the test, the type of test, and it protects you by re removing your personal information from that certificate. So at the moment, we're starting our testing in, in Windsor 
at the sandwich location, which is close to the border uh, from the travel perspective. Um, but then we have eight other locations, so um, we can scale this as the demand rises. Um, we can do testing for companies, we can do testing for schools, we can do testing for any organization that wants to, to test um, a group of people. Uh, so we're, we're set up to scale. Uh, we also have testing facilities in Detroit as well. So, um, so if you need to get a test here or a test there, it doesn't matter. It's the same price, same, um, same, same time frame. So we're covered, we'll hopefully cover the whole region eventually. So the idea of the device came from, uh, we worked on some, um, some other innovation projects where we were creating, uh, we created a, a rapid device for, for Zika and then we helped with an antibody test for Ebola that were, uh, it was actually used to help um, compensate people that had recovered from Ebola. It was very difficult to say who'd been recovered and who hasn't and everyone wanted the money. So we helped work with a, a, an organization out there to help create a test that could test the antibodies. So when COVID came out, uh, we had some expertise in, in developing um, a cut rapid tests, and we, we have software that's used globally to record the results of, of rapid tests. So to us, it was a no brainer. Uh, we were doing clinical research at the time on, on cannabis actually. So at the end of that project and um, COVID came out, we just, we just pivoted to create some um, products for COVID. So the cost of the test, so, um, at the moment, uh, an antigen test um, delivered by the nurse and processed and giving you the results certificate is about $75. Um, a PCR test privately is about $200 because it has to go to the lab and the transport and the nurse. Um, so those are the, 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 two, the two costs. Now, can they be lower? If the demand is there and um, there's an acceptance for private testing, then those numbers can definitely go lower. Or if there's group testing or work testing and things like that, then it can definitely be a lot lower than what, what it currently is. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, why would I want to pay for a test when I can get it free via HOHIP? Mm -hmm. Now, travel testing is not covered under HOHIP. So yes, you can scam and try and scheme the system by going to, um, trying to get an asymptomatic test or going into the, um, uh, going into the assessment centers to get a test. The problem with that is it might take you three days to get your test result back. So when it comes to traveling, you will not have enough time. There's, there isn't a, a guaranteed time frame when you're doing the public testing. So if you do private testing, they'll ask you the question. So typically it's 24 hours. We can get a test result back within 24 hours, which gives you 48 hours to go to wherever you want to go and land. And it's still valid and no one's going to turn you away. So, Yes, you could get a free test if you want to try and um, skim the system, uh, but you might be out of luck when it comes to going to your destination because your test would have expired.